Hey guys, Tommy the Wing Beast, welcome back to the channel. Today we're getting into a show that I've wanted to get into since it was released maybe, what, two, three weeks ago, which is Reacher. I love the original Jack Reacher movies, I'm looking forward to seeing the show. I like the actor that's playing Reacher in this, Alan Richardson. In fact, I just finished watching a podcast a couple of days ago about Alan Richardson and his ordeals, his life, his journey, what it was like playing Jack Reacher, and it actually sounds like it was really, really um, hard on him. You know, he like basically was... Um, suffocating himself to death because of the painkillers he was taking um, due to some of the injuries and things that he had and just trying to push through the tough sort of filming schedule and some of the fight scenes apparently you know he was literally almost passing out and and it actually came across on screen so I'm looking forward to seeing that not that I'm looking forward to seeing his real struggle but looking forward to seeing what the action's like and I didn't realize that Reacher was such a, a big story so yeah looking forward to getting into it so anyway guys let's get straight into it see what it's all about an action start whoa this dude's brutal what the hell wow crazy oh he's definitely traveling light <laughs> supposed to get ahead when you're wasting my goddamn money the hell you won't asshole i'm talking to you stupid <laughs> it's a unit <laughs> won't happen again <laughs> nice black and peach pie best you're gonna find in georgia they are charging in after him Cop seems more nervous than assertive. You're under arrest for murder. You can move faster than that. If you step over here, I can process you. But don't worry, I won't kick your ass unless you make me. <laughs> nice. Thank you. Sasquatch don't talk. Jack Reacher. No middle name. Zip ties? Cuffs didn't fit him. Everything else is a carry-on. What's that about? 200? This looks like some kind of foreign dude. World War II medal. French. No one moves around holding just this. What the hell are you doing in my town? You want to talk? Maybe we put you in a holding cell. Get you to change your mind. And how exactly would you do that? <laughs> I'll read out better from here. Bean town, bitch. <laughs> Mr. Reacher, I'm Chief Detective Oscar Finley. The body was found by the highway embankment, partially covered by flattened out cardboard boxes. Two 9mm, 95 grain, close range shots to the back of the head. No casings found. Big guy. He was beaten badly post-mortem. Problem getting prints off the body's swollen fingerprints. Anything you want to share besides your riveting company? <laughs> Is a man a few words? Maybe your court-appointed attorney will get you out of jail. I don't need a lawyer. Because I didn't kill anybody. And not in this town. Oh, this is kind of impossible. This Reacher fella. But there's no Facebook, no driver's license, mortgage, insurance claims. The only proof Jack Reacher exists is the fact that he's sitting in that room. His one brother, Joe, owes him by two years. Commanded the 110 Special Investigations Unit of the military police. Took out a few men in the course of your duties. What if I'm thinking I'm sitting across from a man who doesn't mind killing and who has the knowledge and <laughs> to murder someone and cover it up? You'd be right. Three men dropped this body. Shooter was someone who knows firearms well. Bullets were small caliber, 9mm, 95 grain, that's subsonic. He also knew enough to pick up his brass. You're also looking for a psycho who beat up a body post-mortem. Totally different profile from your professional shooter. <laughs> he said there were three. Well, the third guy's so worried about getting out of there, he grabs some nearby debris and just lays it across the corpse. But you still match the description of someone seen walking the highway earlier today near where the body was found i got off the bus from tampa and walked to town greyhound doesn't have a stop in margrave i asked the driver to take me to tampa why on account of blind luke blue singer legend has it he died in margrave a long time ago i figured i'd learn a bit about him <laughs> you get on a bus in tampa with 212 dollars of toothbrush and a french war medal and travel over 500 miles to read up on a dead blues musician i also went to a diner ordered peach pie 
I never got to eat it because I was arrested for murder. Medical examiner puts the victim's time of death at around midnight last night. Last night until 11.59 and 59 seconds, and then it becomes this morning. And then investigation <laughs> details matter. Awesome. If I can confirm you on the ground whilst at that time, you're cleared. Until then, you're in a holding cell. We're running down a phone number found in the dead guy's shoe, but with the word pluribus ran on it. I love the way he's playing this attention to detail thing. We always seem to find you. Okay, next transfer, I want half of the boxes. I don't know how four people accumulate all of this. Go and meet the base kids. Military kids. It'll be just like camera in Belgium and Spain. Is this the way to the beach? It's five bucks. <laughs> I'm big for my age. Just like you're ugly for your age. Okay. Trouble does kind of seem to find you. <laughs> right from the kid, huh? Thanks. Figured you could use a pick me up. Trouble just kind of seems to find me. Assumed you liked it black. I'm like a no nonsense guy. Premature nonsense. Got hit on the phone number. Sorry, ceramic. Thank you. Sorry. I like her character. More of a straight shooter than most of the others. Your cell number was found at the situs of a crime. I just wanted to get you over here so we could talk. About what? You tell me. Murder. Unidentified male shot to death. I did it. <clears throat> I killed a guy by the highway. Self-defense. It's being watched. Exactly. So you expect me to believe that you, a man with no criminal record, a double barrel shotgun blast right to the face, and then burnt the body. <laughs> yes, I did. Nice. And and that's all I'm gonna say about it. Reacher. Come with me. Not until you let these zip ties come off. We both know I didn't kill anybody and they're uncomfortable. Get the Bhaskar. <laughs> awesome. That other guy, Paul Habu, banker, he just confessed to the murder. Thanks for the hospitality. Not so fast. I was just cleared. He admitted to things that didn't even happen. Might still have information to share. I don't. But Stevenson does. He and Hubble were looking at each other. You're always so confident in your theories. As confident as I am that you went to Harvard, you recently divorced and quit smoking in the last six months. My friend back there, Baker, he called you a bean town bitch. You don't care if your co-workers like you. A guy like that doesn't go to BU, he goes to Harvard. You're also about 40, which means you did your 20 at Boston PD to get your pension so you can afford a proper southern soup, but you still look like black Sherlock Holmes. It means no woman in your life making <laughs> That's right. Death or divorce. Her name's Sharon. As for the smoking, when I broke down the three murderers back there, you started to think you had the wrong guy. The water in your glass moved a bit. That combined with the slider on awesome. your dress in your suit, because it's hard to get out of tweed. <laughs> Killers. This is cool. Stevenson, my office. This man seems to think you know something about Hubble that you aren't sharing with me. Uh, grandparents and anniversary of the 50th. I don't care. Well, Hubble and Charlie were there. Who's Charlie? Charlene? His wife? All I know is that at midnight, he was nowhere near that highway. Hubble in the drugs? No. Don't answer his questions. He's not your boss. Right. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. Drugs, money, infidelity. Stevenson's right. We've eliminated the big three, which means the only way you'll know why Hubble confessed is if he tells you. Yeah, well, maybe a week in a lockup will motivate him. Let me know what he says. This is bullshit. You have a confession. Now, Chief Morrison wants you in custody till we know for sure that all six foot four of you was on that bus from Tampa. Six foot five. In an investigation, details matter. There's always a pencil neck that thinks they know more than the specialist. It was nice talking to you. You ruined my trip here. My name's Officer Spivey. We all be housed far away from the animal factory. Till they can line up a weekend arraignment for you. Might be a little tight on the shoulders. Drop them drawers. Bend over and spread. The victim I'm suspected of murdering was shot by a handgun that would measure four inches by six. Regulations the say. The only thing up my ass right now is you. So if you think you can perform the inspection without getting seriously injured, go for it. <laughs> Doesn't fit on the bed. We're not with the guys awaiting arraignment. We're with the lifers. What do you mean? All right, someone's trying to get rid of them both. Or that pencil pusher guy, that guy. There she is. 
You heard me? Give my shoes that good little bitch. Good girl. Like the glasses, too. Give my glasses. Yeah, there's just one more thing I want from you. He's had enough. What you want? To give you a choice. See, you're in my house, fatso, and you didn't ask permission. <laughs> Count to three. Bitch. One. Two. <laughs> That's gonna do some serious damage. You owe us a pair of glasses. Now get out of my cell. His head got smashed into the side of that bank. That's awesome. <laughs> I'm not a ventriloquist. Get off my lap. I'm not a criminal. I'm a fucking currency manager. And the people I'm working for made it clear if I jammed them up, then you'd be killed. They'd nail me to a wall, cut my balls off, and make me eat them. I'm gonna hit the head. He's literally just setting it up because he knows those guys are after him. You boys know what's about to happen to you. You'd leave now. So I'll give you to the count of three. One. Beautiful movements. Oh! <laughs> He's not fucking around. Holy shit. Beautiful movements. Every movement is an attack. Love it. You two doing down here? Come on, let's go for the warden seats. Why are you in Gen Pop? That's where the guy put us. Anyone asks, you've been here the whole time. Wonder why this guy's got their back. <laughs> he just destroyed a whole bunch of dudes. He didn't just beat them up, he broke them to bits. Just dealing with a tough case, alone in the middle of Georgia, and I just wish you would call me back. Boss, got Reacher's military record from D.C. West Point graduate, Silver Star, Defense Superior Service Medal, Legion of Merit, Soldier's Medal, Army Commendation Medal, Bronze Star, a second Silver Star, and a Purple Heart <laughs> for wounds sustained in the bombing of Amorian's barracks in Kandahar. Major Reacher ran into the inferno, carrying soldiers out two at a time. Major Reacher suffered severe smoke inhalation, but returned to active duty 32 hours later, despite having <laughs> shrapnel remains of a jawbone removed from his abdomen. 150 closed cases, all successful prosecutions, more than 20 fugitives captured. In God's name, is a guy like that doing in Margrave? What's a guy like that doing in jail? I hate to be the one who put him in there. <laughs> She's right, though. Siggy time. I've been hoping a Beatles song would come on. <laughs> He's a soft touch, that guy. You look like hell. That's because I saw you gouge a man's eyes out. <laughs> they might try to kill me as soon as I'm bailed out. You important to their operation? Real important. And you're probably okay. And barred from last night's fiery. You set us up in Gen Pop. The guys in the shower, I need me as a person to take out. Once I'm out of here, I'm gone. Something bad's going down in my grave, and I don't need to be a part of it. My wife should be here soon. I don't give a shit. Figured a guy with no money, ID, or car could use Lyft. <laughs> That's me. No way you could have been in Margrave in time to kill anyone. And how'd you get him to cooperate? Lied. Is she smart? Me, but how does a guy who confessed walk away? We're holding off on charges. Hard approach, Officer Roscoe. Roscoe's actually my first name. Never met a woman named Roscoe before. Yeah, you did. There you go. Got a love tap inside? I got set up. By who? Some guard. But whoever he took orders from wanted me gone, and they're going to get what they want. It's a shame. <laughs> I was going to apologize with an early dinner, but if you're not sticking around. Okay. But I'm going to need some new clothes first. I travel light. You sure you don't want to get new threads? They'll be new to me. <laughs> don't you want a home base or something? Had a home base my whole life. I want to see my country on my own terms. Pensions wired to a Western Union each month. Don't you miss your family? They're all dead, except for my brother, Joe. So, what really brought you to Margrave? I'm here because of Blind Blake. 
read some article about Blake, said he played his last show in Margrave, and that's where he died. So I got on a bus. <laughs> so you just go wherever you want, whenever you want? Everyone's always jealous. He's living free. He's done his time. Cool show so far. So I'll check out the town for a while. I don't go getting yourself arrested for murder again. I like her character. She's cool. Following him. Thought a blues fan might be able to tell me a bit about Blind Blake's time in Margrave. Most surprised you know Blind Blake, Mr. Reacher. When a giant stranger gets arrested for murder, word gets around. My sister sang with Blake a few times back in the day. One hell of a town it is, freshly painted gazebo, statue recently polished. You gotta think it's more than civic pride. The Kleiner Foundation takes care of Margrave. You name it, Kleiner do it. <laughs> Casper Teal, his grandson's our mayor. He gave Kleiner a sweetheart land deal for his factory. That there's Kleiner Jr. Everyone calls Junior KJ. You looking for a dance partner? How? <laughs> I'm talking to you, Pee Wee. Reading something interesting just this morning about some charges brought against the Major Jack Reacher. In a small village outside of Baghdad. Smile, the desert ended up giving you, didn't it? If you don't forgive us easily, Margaret, what's your bag, Mr. Reacher? Another body was found in the brush for the arson the first one, same caliber bullet. I was looking forward to spending time with you before leaving. You're the one who's nice. You're not going anywhere. My alibi clear. First, you make it clear I'm not a cop anymore. Now you want my help. I want you to do what I say. You better ask nicer than that. Little pencil man trying to assert himself. You know it. Please tell me you know who did this. <laughs> what about our first John Doe? Any luck? Dental work was inconsistent. Some of it was done in the U.S. and the rest was foreign. And his fingertips were compromised by a dermatitis reaction. We're waiting for the results. Well, no, do not. First victim was allergic to latex. Killers must have worn some kind of polyvinyl protective suit to keep blood DNA off. His dental works off because he had his teeth fixed wherever he was living at the time. Had his tonsils taken out at 10 in Seoul. He knows him, right? We were wrestling. I pinned his brother. the stove. Didn't know my mother had just turned it off. That's how my brother got this scar. Now they get out of his way. What was your brother doing in Margrave? I don't know. When was the last time you saw Joe? A minute ago in the morgue. You being swamped with me? I'm being straight with you. Hell, no wonder Sharon left you. You keep my wife's name out of your mouth. Well, you back off him. Come on, Finley. Let it rest. This man just lost his brother. What are you doing here in Margrave? Blind Blake. I swear I'm going to find any reason I can to lock you up again. Oh, you ain't get the cuffs. Okay, this isn't going to happen. Reacher, sit in the back. Reacher. She's got a good manner. That dude needs to back off him, though. What a dick. You okay, Reacher? Just thinking maybe my brother told me about Blind Blake for a reason. Thinking I'm supposed to do something about it. Like what? I guess I'll find everybody responsible and kill every last one of them. <laughs> awesome. That is the coolest pilot for a series I've seen in a long time. Absolutely love it. Love the way that he portrays the attention to detail, military thinking, tactical way of looking at everything. Is so cool. Um, I also love that he just doesn't take shit from anyone and he's ready to just roll over the top of them. He's not sort of being passive about it. He's like, bang, you've got a problem. Let's get it sorted. Alan Richardson's really cool. Anyway, I've sort of liked a lot of the stuff he's been in. And he's a big unit. It's like that little cop dude sort of getting all up to his face. It's like, dude, this guy's got military experience. He's a specialist, an investigator, you name it, military police, the whole thing. He's done it. It's like, there's not one little thing you can really do. To, to derail Jack Reacher. You know what I mean? Absolutely cool series. Love it heaps. Please give this video a like, guys. Support my channel. I appreciate it. Always appreciate your hints, tips, support. Put in the comments below any other cool shows you'd like to see me react to. Let's get into it. That's all for me for now. Till the next one, take it easy.